Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cybersecurity Meg and I'm super stoked that you're here. I wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who has commented, subscribed, liked, reached out to me, DM'd me, whatever, in the past two weeks. I just hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is like, blows my mind. Um, but when I make these videos and I say hello and welcome back to my channel, I am genuinely so excited that there's the beginning of a little community here of like-minded individuals who, if not already working in cybersecurity, are pursuing cybersecurity, studying cybersecurity, curious about cybersecurity, and we all share some genuine passion or love or curiosity about the field. And to know that I get to speak to you guys and discuss things with you and learn about you and your journeys is just one of the coolest things. So thank you for being here. It really does mean a lot to me. Nonetheless, I digress. Let's get into the actual video. Today, I wanted to talk about my experience working as a cybersecurity analyst and a little bit about why I think the cybersecurity analyst position is a great position to begin your career in. For some background, I worked as a cybersecurity analyst for three years. I am no longer a cybersecurity analyst. And I did begin as an associate cybersecurity analyst. So that's kind of like the prelude to working as a normal cybersecurity analyst. I was brand new to the field, didn't have any experience working in cybersec. And another thing to know is I work for an enterprise level company. So that's to say I work for a very large international company, a Fortune 100. And I highlight that only because a cybersecurity analyst role, the jobs and tasks of a cybersec analyst can differ greatly contingent upon the size of your company, if you're working in private or public sector, if you are working for an SMB, the mission and business model of your company. So just keep that in mind as I'm kind of discussing my experience working as a cybersec analyst, because my experience, the tools that I got to put my hands on, the things I learned can be completely different and a completely different experience from someone else who maybe works in the public sector or something of the sort. So like I mentioned, I started as an associate cybersecurity analyst when I was just about 21. I'm about to turn 25 in a few weeks. I had no experience whatsoever working in cybersecurity. I was studying cybersecurity in a master's program, but I didn't have any hands-on experience or professional experience. And when I began as an associate cybersecurity analyst, there were, you know, more senior analysts on the team. We are an international team, so it was very enlightening to me to be able to work with, you know, different cultures and different age people and people who have been in the industry for a very long time. And what I was doing as an associate cybersecurity analyst was obviously shadowing my teammates, learning from them, and frankly, soaking up as much knowledge as I possibly could because I was a sponge. And because I had never worked in cybersecurity before, I had this completely blank slate where I could learn anything, I could be anything, I could work on anything. And I think that was a fantastic opportunity for me. It really served as a catalyst to launching my cybersecurity career. So again, because of working in an enterprise, we have, or rather I had, a lot of opportunity to get my hands on many different tools. Everything from DLP to SOAR to PKI to email security to SEM, you name it, I was, you know, incredibly blessed to get this invaluable experience of learning to work with those kind of tools and, you know, how to best use them, best practices with them, monitoring them. I will note that I did not have a traditional analyst experience. I feel like when most people comment about working as a cybersecurity analyst, which can also be known as a SOC analyst, SOC standing for Security Operations Center, I was not one of those people who just sat in front of a monitor all day staring at a SEM. Um, I was much more highly engaged than that. And it wasn't just staring at, you know, a computer screen all day and reacting to something. So um, that that's, excuse me, 
that was my experience. It could be completely different because I know a lot of people do have um, an analyst role where they are simply just monitoring a sim all day for abnormalities and alerts. Um, so back to my experience. As an associate, like I said, I was just getting my hands on everything, you know, learning everything, trying to document everything that didn't already have documentation for it. That way, those who were to come after me, they would have documentation from someone's point of view, like mine, where I didn't have any knowledge about the tool. And that way, you know, someone else is new to the company, new to cybersecurity, they can just read the documentation, follow the instructions, and they're good to go. So... Um, I spent about one year working as an associate cybersecurity analyst, and then I promoted to a normal cybersecurity analyst, which is just to say that I dropped the associate title. And the difference between being an associate and not being an associate, at least where I'm working, was really involvement in process improvement, automation, making things better, making suggestions, really having more of an informed opinion and thoughts about why things should be done a certain way and how we can improve efficiency, you know, reduce false positives, that kind of thing. So working as a cybersecurity analyst, I spent two years in that role and golly, I just like, I'm thinking back to those years and it's just mind blowing to how much I learned and how many things I got to do and achieve and work on. And the most beneficial part for me about working as a cybersecurity analyst was getting to find out what I'm genuinely interested and passionate about. So when you're putting your hands on so many different things and you're involved in so many different projects and you're learning all these new things, it really allows you to kind of identify what excites you, what invigorates you, what makes work not feel like work. Because let's be honest, at the end of the day, that's usually one of people's main goals for their job is to thoroughly enjoy what they're doing. And you know, I'm blessed and lucky enough that I quickly caught on to what excites me, what I love, what I'm passionate about, what I want to pursue, what I want to change, what I want to make better, and that is incident response. So quickly when I was a cybersecurity analyst, I found that I love incident response. It just like makes my heart happy. <laughs> So actually, after working for two years as a cybersecurity analyst, I promoted to cybersecurity incident response manager for the company that I work for. And I wholeheartedly believe that it's because I spent those three years working as an analyst, trying out so many different things, so many different tools and processes, and speaking to so many various teams, from the red team to engineering to architects to app security, that I really was able to discern what exactly I want to do with the rest of my career. And I was able to figure out, you know, um, you know, maybe this specific tool, maybe, you know, DLP is very interesting, but do I want to do it for a career? And antivirus is exciting and malware is exciting, but do you want to become a reverse engineering, um, like reverse engineer for malware? Or, you know, web application penetration testing or red teaming, it's so much fun and it's challenging and it's constantly something new, but do you want to do it for a career? Is it something you want to do every day? So that's really how I approached my time as an analyst was making sure to dip my toes into the water of everything and just kind of figuring out what exactly fit, what made me happy, what I felt engaged with, what I wanted to improve. And that's how I landed in the world of um, incident response. Um, I'll also note that during my time as a cybersecurity analyst, I did find another love of mine, if you will, and that led me to being an SME on, excuse me, subject, subject matter expert. I don't want to assume that people know, you know, um, acronyms for things. So I became an SME for SAP security, and I have 
spoken at SAP on SAP security. And I've spoken for some other security vendors about SAP security. And it's just really because I got to have this holistic experience that introduced me to so many different people and tools that I was able to hone in on what I want to do. So that is why I think cybersecurity analysts, I mean, besides from being the general position that most people um, get into when they're first starting out their career, it just is very logical. I wouldn't try to skip the cybersecurity analyst position. I would embrace the position. Um, you know, again, like I've mentioned, this is completely my experience. It could be that, you know, if you're working for the government or for an SMB, then you're only getting your hands on maybe one or two specific things, and that's what you do every day. But, you know, that's my experience, and that's what I'm here to tell you about. So, I think having the cybersecurity analyst role, it not only gives you that experience, but it helps you bolster your foundational knowledge. Um, I don't want to personally be one of those people who has a super high ranking level or you're like some senior or something and you can't explain the OSI model. Do I use the OSI model? No, not at all. But it comes up in conversations with people often and it's kind of comparable to the idea of I have a CISP and I studied my butt off for my CISSP because I didn't want to be the person who has a CISSP but can't speak proficiently about certain entry-level cybersecurity topics. And that's why I just really enjoyed my time as a cybersecurity analyst. I thought it was time well spent, um, necessary time for me to learn some technical foundational skills that I didn't otherwise have. It paired really well the job with the master degree that I was um, studying at the time. It took me two years to get my master's degree. And for most of that time of studying, I was working as a cybersecurity analyst. It paired really well with what I was learning. I was able to take the things that I was studying at school and apply them to real world at my company. And yeah, that's my experience. So I hope that this shed a little bit of light on um, cybersecurity analysts, the role that I got to experience. And I think my end message for this is I see a lot of people who are like, I want to be a cloud security architect. And maybe you're just in college and you're saying, I want to be a cloud security architect. How do I get right out of college to being a cloud security architect? I'll be 100% honest with you. It's highly unlikely that you will. You have to put in your dues, generally. You have to, you know, go through the trenches like everyone else has. And if you try to open your mind and just accept the cybersecurity analyst role as a positive, beneficial thing that really allows you to figure out exactly what you want to do, it's a fantastic position. So... That's my experience as a cybersecurity analyst. That's why I love the position, and that's why I think you should check it out if you're looking to get into cybersecurity. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you next week. Ciao.